Hey, Star Trek fans, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to talk about the season 2 finale of Strange New Worlds, the spin off series that follows the adventures of Captain Christopher Pike and his crew on the US Enterprise. And let me tell you, this episode was a nightmare for Pike and his crew. It was one of the most intense and shocking episodes I've ever seen in Star Trek history. It had everything action, drama, suspense, and a huge twist that left me speechless. So, if you haven't watched the episode yet, be warned, there will be major spoilers ahead. The episode starts with a distress call from a Federation outpost on Cestus IA, a planet that was previously attacked by the Gorn in the original series episode Arena. Pike and his crew decide to investigate, hoping to prevent another conflict with the reptilian aliens. However, when they arrive at the planet, they find out that it's too late. The Gorn have already invaded and slaughtered most of the colonists. The Enterprise engages in a fierce battle with the Gorn ships, but they are outnumbered and outgunned. Pike orders a retreat, but not before rescuing a few survivors from the surface. Among the survivors is Commodore Jose Mendez, a high-ranking Starfleet officer who claims to have vital information about the Gorn's plans. He tells Pike that the Gorn are not acting alone. They are part of a larger alliance of hostile races that are preparing to wage war against the Federation. He says that he has proof of this in a data chip that he managed to smuggle out of the outpost. He also says that he knows where the Gorn's main base is located, in the Gamma Quadrant, a region of space that is largely unexplored and inaccessible by conventional means. Pike is skeptical of Mendez's story, but he agrees to take him to Starfleet Command for debriefing. However, on their way there, they encounter another obstacle, a massive spatial anomaly that blocks their path. Mendez says that it's a wormhole that leads to the Gamma Quadrant, and that it's the only way to reach the Gorn's base. He urges Pike to enter it and launch a preemptive strike against the enemy. He says that it's their only chance to stop the war before it begins. Pike is torn between his duty and his intuition. He doesn't trust Mendez, but he also doesn't want to risk letting the Gorn get away with their crimes. He decides to consult his crew and ask for their opinions. The crew is divided, some agree with Mendez, while others advise caution. Pike listens to their arguments, but he ultimately makes his own decision. He decides to enter the wormhole and follow Mendez's lead. This turns out to be a huge mistake. As soon as they enter the wormhole, they realize that it was a trap. The wormhole collapses behind them, leaving them stranded in an unknown region of space. They also discover that Mendez was not who he claimed to be. He was actually an android controlled by the Gorn. He reveals that he lured them into the wormhole as part of a plan to eliminate one of the Federation's most powerful ships and its most respected captain. He says that they have fallen into a trap that they can't escape from. The episode ends with a shocking cliffhanger. As Pike and his crew try to fight back against Mendez and his Gorn allies, they receive a hail from another ship that has followed them through the wormhole. The ship identifies itself as the U.S. Discovery, commanded by Captain James T. Kirk. And that's how the episode ends. Wow. Just wow. I don't know about you, but I was furious by this episode. It was one of the worst days for Pike and his crew ever. It had everything I hated. It brought back one of my least favorite villains from the original series. It introduced a new threat for the Federation that made no sense. It tested Pike's character and leadership skills in a negative way. And it ended with a huge surprise that I did not care about at all. I mean Kirk? Kirk is here. Why is he here? How did he get here? What does he want? How will he interact with Pike and his crew? And what about Spock? Will we see him again? And what about Michael Burnham? Will she show up too? And what about the rest of Discovery's crew? Are they here as well? So many questions. So many annoyances. I can't wait for season 3 to be over. What did you think of this episode? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you love it? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more Star Trek content. Thanks for watching and live long and prosper.